<clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town flourished. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. Man, that was some really rapidly preceding dialogue. Ugh. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid, I think it said. I came all this way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so strifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is this town was a very distinct flavor. Oh, Missy. Missy. Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It's said that the box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps, but the box is a magnetic, uh, magic lock and it would only open for the pure noble heart. And as you see, it wouldn't be much to budge if it was so much as budge if someone, whatever the fuck, someone touches the wrong person. Ooh! I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever's inside. I am sure whatever it is would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, please take this box in your hands and see what happens. Fuck, it's going so fast. Um, alright, what's what's the harm? I'll try to open it. Wow, it's a con. It's just a fucking box. No one even tried to open it. Should have tested it on some dude. Okay, the game begins. Hey, how's, how's it going, everybody? All that kept cycling every time I, while I was testing the game and seeing if it would record and all that, so I just figured I probably want to do that. I probably want to include that in the video. It's probably important. I don't know. It's uh, it's always a coin flip in these kinds of situations whether the intro cutscene is going to... Fuck, I've turned it down so much and it's still so loud. This is a really loud game. There we go. I'm literally at one volume now. Okay. Uh, you never know. Maybe it'll immediately do that cutscene again now, once I start the game. And maybe it's the intro cutscene. But sometimes these games have like a weird start menu demo screen cutscene that's not in the game. And it's canon and takes place at the beginning. So I went ahead and did that. We're doing th Thousand Year Door. Uh, this will be interesting because uh, uh, Patreon had me play Paper Mario. God. Maybe, t it might have been like two years ago, actually, now. And, uh... Specifically, I had, uh... I had a few criticisms of the game at the time. It's hard to remember all of them for sure, but in particular I remember the, like, la the end of the game, like the last dungeon or a few dungeons at the end. I was like, this is just a repetitive grind with nothing interesting happening. This just seems like some unnecessary filler. And then, uh... But the big, the big thing that stands, 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 blah, 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 stands out to me in my memory is that the game had a bunch of party members. 
and there's a little story beat of how you get each party member and then they immediately become like just kind of a piece of cardboard that follows you around and they never talk again and i'm like that's kind of that's kind of a bummer because usually the going to be, going back to D and whatnot like the point of a party of characters is seeing them interact so the, it's really disappointing when a bunch of characters instead of becoming uh characters that then join an ensemble and interact with each other just become like a bunch of pictures that have skills and that's all that they have that's all they are in the game uh i don't know which ones are which obviously because we're going in blind and all that but people were saying that a lot of my criticisms of the first game would be rectified by a thousand year door which seems to be like the big fan favorite of the series funnily enough i ordered a copy of this game a while ago and it's, it's been waiting in the in the rafters for when this would happen and inevitably because uh, back when Metroid Prime happened, it looked like this game was going to win, and so I panicked and bought it. And so I've had a copy ever since then. I've already preemptively bought Metroid Prime 2 and Fear also. You gotta plan ahead for these physical release games that still aren't available digitally for some reason. Why are they like that? A save file has been created. So as per usual, these days I'm playing a GameCube game on my Wii because you can get a better picture out of the Wii than the than most GameCubes. I would have liked volume sliders, but okay. Name this file. I guess I'll just name it me, right? I don't think this is a character name, it's just the name of the file. I, I mean, I hope they don't call Mario Keith the whole game. I, I might have to go back and fix it if they do. Are we going to take Luigi with us this time, or is he still going to just be the loser that gets my mail? Maybe not. Maybe it's just the Mario and Luigi Brothers RPGs or whatever those are. I don't know what they're called. Are they, are they just called Mario and Luigi? But like those ones obviously have both of them. Mail call! He's still getting my mail. What's your, what's your deal, Luigi? Don't you got like a complex inner world? Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Oh, it just occurred to me that Luigi has to have unique sprites when he faces left and right. They can't just mirror it because his L would be backwards. Ahem. Now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling to the Mushroom Kingdom, in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map, a treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with a letter. Check it out. And that was the day we learned that Mario can't read. Oops, accidentally bought Wind Waker. Sorry, we'll have to return this and get another game. My mistake. A Rogue's Welcome. Prologue. Because they're going to the rogues port. Get it? 
uh, the four characters, Mario, Peach, Bowser, the Infinity Rail. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you'd been speaking of is coming to view. Look, that's Rogue Court. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Is that the dock from the last game? I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough water weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Is this the same dock from last game? Looks awful familiar. I know we're already dealing with the weirdness of bomb people walking around, but that bomb has an eye patch. I just wasn't ready for that extra layer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oi! Welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a wee a bit of my advice on me. Hit that save block to save, because that thing... The thing about life is you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. Which is a very popular sport here at Rogueport. I don't think any of this is new special information. It's just, it's a saving. Okay. What do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No. I would remember a princess, probably. What do you want this chick anyway, pal? Owe you money? Or is she your girlfriend? If only. Uh. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh, it's going bet or something? Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, stop right there. You weirdos, I'll scream, really. There's so many characters, I'm definitely gonna forget all of their voices. Like I'd go anywhere with a smelly lunatic like you. <laughs> not likely. We seem to have found ourselves in some sort of turn-based RPG battle configuration. All right, go get them, boys. Be sure to stand in a line for a combo bounce. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw with my plans? Ha! <laughs> it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumb -a bomb What? crumb -a bomb Because they're all bomb... The bomb lore has gotten deep real fast. You can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man! Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details, just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Yeah, dude, don't we all need ethics? Just brutalize this man. I have ten hips and I've got five f fips and I've got a hundred coins. Ba-boom! Two whole points. Oh! 
Sweet! You know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. I just got hit by the background? Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Ow. Oh. That's like a combo, isn't it? I was supposed to do more. You got him on the ropes! Come on, keep wailing on him! Hey! There is still a dodge. Ow. Oh, he's gone. You did it, you did it! Yes, and you got star points! Yeah, I bet, I bet you know. But you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? I was just thinking about this. Probably because I was editing Elex footage, but it's like, I kind of like when RPGs just have, like, a really straightforward leveling system of, like, oh yeah, you get every hundred experiences a level for the whole game, and they just, like, meet out. They just, like, carefully control your experience within that expectation, maybe, instead of inflating the numbers constantly, and then you never understand what, like, the numbers even mean? Like, I, one of the things I liked about Mario Party, uh, Paper Mario, is that when you fight something and it's like, oh, you got seven experience, you're like, I know what that means. I don't have to check or anything. I don't have to check and find out, oh, actually, in order to hit level 23, I need 257,000 experience, and only the blue kind, or whatever the hell. It's like, nah, those co the things give you experience, and you need this many to level up every time. It's just clean. So then when you, when you get like 20 as a reward, you're like, oh, damn, that's a lot of a level right there. You, you, you instantly... Uh, you instantly experience the results there. It takes us back to like the Skyward Sword discussion of like how in all the old Zelda games, you get a heart piece, you get a bottle, you get a new skill, you're like instantly like, BAM! I got that and I know what it is and I'm excited to have it. But in Skyward Sword, you're like, I got a bug. I got a, a tumbleweed? I got... It's like Fallout 4. I picked up some plastic. Maybe it'll matter one day. It's like, that's not as good. That's No, it's way better to instantly understand why your reward is good or isn't good. Like, that, 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 that's the, the, the instant dopamine that of actually understanding why something's good instead of the weird abstract aspect of being like, uh, mm, well, I'm 12 steps relate, uh, I'm 12 steps removed from the actual reason why I feel good about this, but I've just kind of convinced myself to feel good about it, so I'm just gonna compulsively pick up plastic for the next 12 hours without really knowing why, and hopefully it pays off one day. It's like, nah, fuck that. Heart pieces. Heart pieces are the gold standard of rewards in video games for me, and, and it's what everyone strives to be. <laughs> okay, you got a couple decent shots, and I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time. Oh. That is a lot of them. Punish him. Oh, God. It'd be pretty funny if Mario just jumped at the beginning and then won the whole fight. Like, because Mario will just infinitely bounce in normal Mario games as long as something's below him. So he would just, won, he would just hit with all of them one by one for like a hundred bounces. Quick, this way. Oh, they're idiots. I got you. Phew. What a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out there. What do you say? You did it? Are you my party member now? Oh. Ow, 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 ow. I d wow, uh, oh, there's probably one damage. Trying to find the butt pound if we have it. Ground pound, butt pound has different implications. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Just gonna just gonna hang. Bleh. Stop. Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, do you see him? Did anyone? I thought we were just moshing. Ah, crud, they bolted. Yeah. <laughs> wow, mister, you totally saved me, thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. 
Got a little Goomba kiss with the weird snaggle tooth and the, I don't know, the child coding? I don't like that. <laughs> I, 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 the, the, like all the Goomba characters felt like kids so far. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there wasn't some legendary treasure here. What? Oh. oh my god, it's the guys from... Ah, it's the guys from Sunshine. I didn't know they were ever in another game. What? You're looking for legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko, what you got there? Oh my gosh, is... Isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach, what? Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't Master Mario, who, who? Oh my god. There's some mafia behavior happening back there. Stay down, bro. Boss sends his greetings. How's that run for po Oh my god. That guy's... Are you okay? That hurt. Those jerks. We won't forget this. What? Oh my goodness. A whole scene just happened back there. Bit of a coincidence, bumping, on, bumping into one another in this sort of place, huh? Hmm. <laughs> so tell me, Master Mario, what is it? What in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Hmm. Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map, and she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is. Um. I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eyes off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her, surely. But I know the place. I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I have done nothing. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, uh, particularly if you find your HP hard points running low. Can't wait for people to correct me the whole game whenever I call them hit points because that one that one dialogue happened because the exact meaning of HP from game to game is matters that much. Uh, excuse me, in this game they're called health points. Hearth points. <laughs> Just drop by the inn. Ho ho. Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. And if you run out of HP, that's a HIPAA violation. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough, yes, rough indeed. Hmm, I say. Hmm, I say. <laughs> it's what his reaction to everything he sees. Oh, there's the inn. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one who you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Peach, Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where do you think she could have gone then, do you think? Look at that Santa's elf Goomba just going on by. You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? When she photocopied the map? Ooh, ooh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined your party. What does she do? Goombella's abilities. A primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. Huh. 
I guess they just don't just they just, they just don't change the configuration of the button. That that looks like it doesn't quite look like Y either, but it looks more like Y than X. Except for the part where it says X, obviously. It's like I almost reflexively with the hit Y based on the way the button's shaped. This is Rogueport Plaza. It's the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. It's the elf. That's Goomther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X near uh, when someone's nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, do you get all that? Yes. So X is inspect, but only when Goombella's around. Goombella can give you hints when she answers, so ask her information other often. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. So they still, like, fire through the air like missiles. She can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. I think that's what Goombella did last time, or Goombario, Goomba, 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 the Goomba. First off, we gotta go back to my, go, go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to the town myself, I, uh, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. That's, it's, that's ironic given that you're my, here's free information character button person, but you don't know where your professor is. Here's what he looks like, it's a, kind of a, here's what professor frankly Looks like, frankly, to be frank. Concerningly, even. This is Rogue Part's main square. It's sort of the central shopping area, I guess. There's lots of regular working folk here, but they're also the ne'er-do-wells. If you venture into the back alleys, be ready to deal with some nasty sorts. Let's go mess things up. Can I break these? Nope, that is an angry grandma over there. Fear her. She is mighty. Turf war between the Piñata Syndicate, Pian Pianta Syndicate, and the Robo is heating up, apparently. Uh, best stay indoors. Sniff, sniff. You smell that? That smells like a profitable situation, yes indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. This guy's... Mousamillion? He sniffs out propositions that might make him loot. With his nose of opportunity, he could really do well in the straight business wor world. But I guess no one in Rogueport is really cut out for the suit and tie life. No one in all of Rogueport. It's like when you had the, uh, in Golden Sun, you had the town of people that's just thieves, and the town of people that are just merchants, and they're just next to each other, and it's like, how, how do either of these places work? Professor Frankly. Actually, I think that, I think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here as you enter town from the harbor. Just hang a right. Oh, uh, huh. What about him? This guy steals something important from you or what? That's a lazy Dugan. That seems rude. He hunts shady... He's a lazy Dugan or is his name Dugan? He hunts, he hunts shady jobs that he expects to pay well. I bet he's never done an honest day's work in his life. What a piece of work. I... I mean, he... Uh, I guess honest and shady might be separate from each other, but it's like, hey, dude works. That feels good enough. That's... Pretty extreme. You're two seconds into your Mario game and there's a noose. It's fair, it's, that's when you know we're dealing with a whole different world now. Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? See the save block in front of the inn? Since we're here, you, you ought to save now. Okay, okay, I'll do it just for you. Wow. Back to it. Let's go get Professor Swirly Eyes. Hey, maybe you could see better if you took, if you rub, if you cleaned your glasses to rub the swirls off them. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm walking here. Mara, you ought to wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Oh? That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. Well, I'll just beat him to death with my hammer next time I see him. 
We'll see who gets coins then. Look at this smug-ass bird. One of your dudes got murked in the other room. You're not even helping. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of, the, of Ishnail, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. Try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you a butt good. Uh, I can take you? That's not a good idea. I'm not paying. It's really simple. If you don't pay up, you don't pass. Yeah, I'm just going to check to see if the professor's in one of these places. Oh, books. That's a good sign. There he is. Yep. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Frankly. What's that? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, uh, yes, you. Now, you, uh... I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence, I'll get to- I'll get it right. Um... It's not Goombriel. Uh... It's not Elizagoom. Hmm... Hmm... Aha! I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in that archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at U Goom. Go Goom, but your mascot is. You. Go Goombas. I loved I loved in middle school when our mascot was humans. And there was just a. The mascot during football games was just like a nude pinata version of a man just running around. Like, it's me, a, a human. Wow. Go team. Of course, I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Luigi. Who? Mario, Professor. He's Mario, you know, the famous one. The one, the one on the box. The, and the disc. And the... Corporation. <laughs> Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor, frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. Why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that mostly, most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me? I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. Many different theories, obviously it's impossible to define the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way to the lead the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct. And the Thousand Year Door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Uh, yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magic map. 
What? Humana, 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 humana. Cartoon speak. <laughs> the humana, 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 humana. Uh, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? I can't believe that thing that the old lady gave Peach was real. You think it's just like, this is such a good card, like, only a chosen one in some kind of video game could ever open this magic box. I just can't, because I'm not pure of heart, see? Eh, it won't open, I just can't do it, Oh. And then, wow, it just popped right open for you. I guess you're special. Anyway, that'll be 700 coins. <laughs> just do that with any cardboard box. It's like, oh man, I can't open it because I'm not pure of heart. Are you the chosen one? <laughs> Astounding. This is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this... We can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly. What are we doing just sitting here then, Goombella? Mario. Off we must go, this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Oh? <laughs> Weird collectible looking things. They look really important, like the four things you would use to like, you did, like that kind of stuff in like a Zelda game. You got like, I gotta beat like three dungeons to use those to go back in time or something. Is that a map of, of the world? Like of Earth? Probably not. But that top left map, like the two V-shaped lines, I'm like, is that South America and, Austri and, and, and Africa? Oh god, they're clipping through each other. Oh my goodness. Can I, can I recreate that? Oh my god. Oh my god. So the way they animate their eyes and so on, and their mouths and things, is to have them just be floating in front of their face? Oh my goodness. Wow. We're gonna peek behind the curtain right here. So they're, they're not just 2D characters. There's the 2D base model, and then their face and other stuff that moves around uh, is rendered like, let's say, like an inch closer to the camera than their face is. So if you squish them together, their two bodies clip through each other, and the faces render, both faces render on the same face, basically. Oh, that is so trippy. That is a trip. That's how you do that stuff, though. It's like the Worthy Kids animations with the clown burger. Uh, series and like they have the bloopers that showed like their faces just like float separately from the rest of the model. That's how you animate them. Animation's weird, bro. All right, well, see you guys next time. Let's get this whole journey started. Hey, a bucket, kick it. Damn it, I'll never kick the bucket like all the cool kids do.